Hi guys, it's Chloe in the back with another video and if you're wondering why I'm in the same spot and clothes as the last video, I'm filming this on the same day so I am with her just there. Um film this on the same day so um I'm ahead. Today's video I'm gonna be giving concert tips or festival tips. Like this too could apply for concert festival, whether it's indoor or outdoor. I'm gonna give you some tips. Um in case nobody knows of advice of what to do for preparing for a concert and whilst you're at the concert and maybe even after. So after um without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, be prepared in advance, which is always better to do. So like choose your outfit wisely, obviously in advance. I know lots of people like do this like outfit the night before but then you might just want to check wisely on the day like check the weather and see if, if the outfit's appropriate for the weather especially if you feel the cold and the weather's not that good maybe change your outfit um two make sure you have a portable charger with you i tend to always like have one um with me portable charger i like the use of it just because um i like to like film my videos and I don't want to make sure my phone dies because I mean that's my source of like filament. Next take a hairband, hair tie, bubble, whatever you want to call it with you just in case just get your hair out of your face, hair up so if things like get really hot and sweaty especially if you're in the mosh pit or something and um, it's just so much like easier. Um, Next, make sure you know you're there. So like, like, obviously when you get the tickets, it should say the venue, and like a map, and then of like the address of the venue. Try and figure out how you could get there. Like if you need to get a taxi, or if you can drive there and then have to walk so far, a bus, train, whatever. If it's if you're traveling far for a gig try and prepare that in advance so then you're not like panicking or worrying that you're gonna be late um or go to the wrong venue or such um next make sure you're well hydrated in advance because the last thing you want to do is like if you're not if you're dehydrated that i know that can i think can lead to like people like passing out and feeling hot and feeling not really enjoying themselves as you because I know most people at a concert you do get dehydrated because, you know, you're jumping around, you're excited. But try and keep, like, if you, like, try and have, like, water with you. But I know some venues are iffy about taking stuff in. And then the price is in the venue is all ridiculous just to get something. So, um, try and just have something beforehand. Um, just so, um, tides you over a bit. Um, next make sure you've got your tickets with you whether that's like you've printed them off or if it's on your phone and you just have to show them and scan it like through your phone make sure you've got them right and everything like in a safe spot safe be safe and not like and um yeah that's all i can say for about that next wear comfy shoes because the next thing you want to do is like as much as some people might like to wear heels all these wedges or um you have to think of yourself, are you comfy? Will you be able to walk in them? And you, at the end of the night, you don't really want to have blisters and sore feet for a week. So, really think about the shoes you wear. Um, next, make sure you got all the correct details for the concert. So, which, when you obviously buy the tickets, um, make sure, as I say, you'll get all the venue um, details, um, obviously the date of the tour, and just keep note of all those little details make sure everything's organized and correct um next make sure you eat something beforehand even if it's little like don't overindulge but make sure you have something little even if it is like just a sandwich or a snack just so um you won't get what people some people call hangry hungry and angry like or irritated because you're hungry and dehydrated and such so make sure you have like as i say something to drink eat beforehand um, if not, I know loads of people after concert sometimes, depending on when the gig is, um, can get food afterwards. Um, but most concerts aren't being late. In like especially festivals as well, like going late, um, trying to have something a little beforehand. Um 
Next, make sure you have money for any merch, of course. I mean, I always do this. I always make sure I have so much money for merch. I always make sure I have some, like, if I do, like, anything, like, in the prices of being revealed for stuff, I try and, like, add up how much money I would want to have. And then if I spend it all, I spend it all. Most of the time I haven't. But I always make sure I have enough mo money for merch and dedicate time before the gig or, um to get some or maybe after the gig before leaving I always dedicate time for merch if I like any of course um next obviously lip balm because you know you're gonna be screaming you're, you're gonna be screaming you're gonna your mom's gonna be getting really dry so just keep the lip balm keep your lips moist and looking well moist and hydrated um next any makeup you might need to like top up on throughout the night or concert um just before it starts or something and um, take anything but don't take like loads i take like little samples like if you're gonna fit it in like a bag because you don't want to have a big bag as well um so like like a mini mascara or mini lip gloss mini lipstick etc um i know that's what most people add on i add on even mascara lip stuff or like maybe i don't know or you could take like maybe a blush but you really shouldn't really be needing to top up a lot of your makeup. Obviously, I know some people take powder or blotting sheets because if the skin's oily. Um, but just get like mini versions of that because obviously you don't really want to be having a bag full. And um, as such, so um, yeah. I mean, I usually um either have a handbag, like a little bag, or I have like a bum bag where I can fit everything in. Like that's probably suitable, especially lo I know lots of people at festivals have a bum use like bum bag fanny pack thing. So um, just make sure you get like a, not a enormous bag. That's gonna really probably be too heavy and a pain to carry. Just get something not too small, not too big, just right to fit your essentials in. And without further ado, that is it for this video. I have been Chloe. I hope you like this video and if you are new here I am Chloe if you haven't already known and welcome to my channel and please subscribe and turn on the notifications if you haven't already and comment below any bleh, video ideas sorry I'm talking really fast and I'll see you in my next video when I'm out will be bye